Hey everyone, Brendan here. I wanted to do a quick video just going over one of the features that Bricks Forge has. Bricks Forge is an add-on for Bricks Builder. It's made by a really talented developer and uh, it's got a ton of features in here. Uh, you could read through the site. I'll leave a link in the description, of course. Um, we're going to take a quick look at, uh, so there's, you know, there's builder customization. You can change the color scheme, stuff like that. Uh, the really cool thing is uh, Global Class Creator. It comes with a built-in framework and you can edit the framework to your liking, change out the colors, change out the spacings, etc., so that the, your framework is up, up to what you want it to do. Uh, the developer has explicitly said that it's not meant to compete with other frameworks like CSS or OxyProps, things like that. Uh, and it doesn't, I mean, it, does, it doesn't have the same robust type of global classes um, and it has other features that those don't have. So I just wanted to take a quick look just so people are kind of aware of what works. And if we come over here to our dashboard, uh, once you install the plugin, you will see it down here in the, your Bricks tab. You can click Bricks Forge. You want to put your license key in, of course, and you can get to customizing. So of course, uh, customize various uh, toggles here for turning off elements, things like that. If you want to create uh, other roles for clients, things like that. The other cool thing is you can add custom roles here. So you, there's an expert mode as well, and you can uh, edit these options as well to uh, give sort of more custom, more customization to your uh, client sites. If you need more control over what users can do, that's I, I like that feature. Um, and you know, there's, see, there's toggle on here. There's some other elements here to customize the builder. Hiding various elements, hiding the tabs, cleaning up the toolbar. So you'll have to play around with that. I won't get into too much of that today. Just wanted to keep this short. Uh, but let's take a look at the global class tab. And so these are, um, once you've activated your classes here, these will all be available in your Bricks Builder. And you can show all the classes. Let me, it's a little big. I don't know, it's probably hard to see. There's so many classes here. Uh, but it, it, the, once you get used to the naming convention, it's pretty easy to, to use. So all of the classes start with BRF for Bricks Forge, of course. And then there's a dash. And then depending on what element you're trying to do, um, let's take a look at, let's see. So, um, you know, there's, uh, there's row elements and then there's columns within those. Um, you wanted to... Uh, like these, uh, these, this M here is for margin. Uh, this MR is for margin right. This ML is margin left. The P is for padding, so padding top, padding bottom, left, etc. So once you get used to that, you'll be able to play around that. And if you, if you're unsure about anything, you can also just come down and search for like what PLL means, and it'll take you there, and you'll see it's basing large padding left off of the spacing L class as well so that you see what that is. You can even uh, spacing L and then you, you'll see that's also, so that's set to 25 pixels by default there. So again, if you want to come in down and update any of these, update your, your primary color, put in your hex color there, uh, change your various clamp sizes. The other thing, there's responsive typography. So your H1s are doing a calculation depending on, uh, you know, how wide the browser is, the screen device, etc. So um, I like that you can quickly come in here and you can just edit your own CSS here and you just save and regenerate it and it will populate these. Um, so I mean, you could spend I could spend a lot more time going over this, uh, but there's um, there's a lot of things to go over. So you can also kind of teach yourself how uh, how it's working. Um, and so I'll leave this tab up open here, and I will go to this tab. This is a page uh, I just made really quick to sort of familiarize myself, honestly, with with how the different classes work. So if we take a look at um, again, remember the BRF is for Bricks Forge. Column is setting the the uh, settings for the columns. So if we take a look at let me this, and you've got your section right, and then you've got your container, and it's you want to make sure to put that row class on it. 
I also have some padding, medium padding, just to give it a little. And if we take a look here, we have a couple classes already applied here. Uh, again, some of these are just to, to just so you can see it, right? The dark background, some padding, text light, text center. This is the important one, the, the Bricks Forge column two. So the way the column system works is it's, it's out of 12 columns. So column two is 12 divided by two, meaning six. So if we come, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, all with equal padding. And it's gonna look good on devices. And by then it's stacking. And it's responsive. So that's the, the nice thing about it. So again, that's column three. Come down here, see column three. Or column four. So again, 12 divided by four is three. So you got three columns, all equally correct with their mathematical ratios in terms of responsiveness. So uh, again, so I'll just, just demonstrate this, um, duplicate this top section, and let me just collapse this down. And so let's make a column six. And so that would be 12 divided by six is two. So if we come up to the div itself, Instead of column, we're going to change that to call uh, six and column six. There it is. And now, if we duplicate that, it will be exactly two and two. Keep duplicating that; it'll be the same. A padding and and again two and two, but on smaller devices. So, uh, but not on phone. Anyway. <laughs> so you get the idea uh, that, so then actually what I probably would, should have done here is go six. So Joe, so again, just to, um, so you know that, uh, just, just to give myself reference, honestly, I, I just wanted to play around with this to see how these columns work. And it seems pretty, pretty legit. So I like that. Um, and let's see, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, so that, that's all I wanted to show really with the classes. Um, I mean, there, you could, there's again, a ton more stuff you can go in here. I don't see, I don't know how much I'm going to use, like how some of these like more intricate margin, margin L whatever, mar I don't think, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see if I end up using some of these. I mean, just the padding top XL. Depending on what you're building, you might want to be able to that, use that stuff. Um, and again, you can you can also it's really nice that you can come down and see how the framework works. Come in here, tweak any values. You know, if you want to make sure that your you know H1 is even larger than than 10 rem on big devices, you can change it to 20. They regenerate classes. Pretty cool. Um, so again, that's that's global classes with BrickForge. Uh, global classes are a great way to standardize your website. As, as you know, there's there's a lot of popular frameworks out there. This is uh, just one of them, and it's a fairly small framework, um, but you can customize it pretty easily, and I like that. Uh, now I won't go into. They have BrickForge has a ton of other stuff too, right? They've got animations using GSAP. You can draw a motion path. Uh, you, know, you can see the example here of, you know, when you scroll down, you see this uh, thing orbiting the Earth. So it's got um, some really cool stuff. And if you haven't checked out their YouTube channel, definitely come and watch their uh, video that was sort of released when they released the product that shows an overview of how uh, everything works much better than I could do, uh, of course. But um, they also just released another sort of feature with the timeline animations. Um, so it's worth, it's worth checking out those two videos, very useful resources. And of course, their website has, uh, you know, documentation. They've got a roadmap uh, for various ideas um, and change log for support. So I know the developer is really active in the Bricks Facebook groups and online uh, various places. So um, Reach out if you guys have any questions. Um, let me know what you guys think. All right.